What's going on there, folks? Good Monday morning. It is the Earth Master here. A little bit early, but I uh, just wanted to get this update in here. Uh, it is uh, Monday, February 7th, 2022, about, uh, about 9.03 a.m. California time. Still got a little bit of a cold lasting around. I'm sure you can hear it in my uh, voice box here. Just can't kick it for, for whatever reason. Uh, latest quake, a 2.5 earthquake striking into the Oklahoma region. Uh, we have seen a little bit of movement uh, in the area of the Texas and Oklahoma region overnight and also the West Coast uh, activity kind of ramping up there. Let's go ahead and check out some uh, activity details here on the latest map. Of course, EMSC model showing the earthquake activity around the globe as well. Uh, looks like Baja, California did have a 4.0 up here uh, in the area of that region uh, earlier let's go ahead and check out uh, usgs here see if these guys are listing that which they are not a little bit of activity missing in that region there is the 2.5 there in the hennessy oklahoma area and also some activity struck off the coast of oregon yesterday we're seeing a little bit of movement further south as well with a 3.0 just in the southern end of the cascadia mega thrust area uh, off the coast just barely off the coast here of eureka at 19.0 kilometers a subduction zone quake within that area the one up here off the coast pretty shallow earthquake just shy of the cascadia megathrust area out there around the cascadia basin seen that uh, 2.7 strike there yesterday overall general activity kicking up and down the west coast uh with another one coming in here looks like just now near the uh what is that seven trees california Right around, right around the southern end of the Hayward Fault System, looks like. Actually, it looks like it's right off the Calaveras Fault. Um, either way, kind of down there where they both, uh, kind of where they're both almost joining down there at the southern end. But either way, Hayward Fault System has seen a little bit of movement yesterday, 3.1, and now that 2.7 down here, a little bit further south. Let's go ahead and check out the all magnitudes. See if we got any further mix of uh, smaller quakes out there. A little bit of activity around the Concord and the San. Leandro area, uh, a couple of microquakes it looks like around Pittsburgh. And let's see what else we got. Uh, movement up in the Geyser area has been pretty active over the last couple days, but uh, nothing significant. I think the largest one that we've seen so far was the 3.4 uh, uh, yesterday or the day before, it looks like. But uh, overall, activity still just kind of ramping up in that area of the uh, hydrothermal pumping or hydrothermal steam operation power plant and uh, activity up and down the eastern Sierra Nevada still remains relatively quiet not a whole lot going on down there in the Ridgecrest area uh, there was a little earthquake activity there in Nevada around the Tonopah area a couple small microquakes but overall uh, generally speaking below uh, what we have been seeing in this area over the past year or so, so things kind of just mellowing out uh, temporarily I'm sure for this region a little bit of activity also kicking up here um, last night. Uh, <clears throat> let's see which fault system this is here. I believe the Elsinore fault system. Seen a 3.5 and also subsequent aftershock activity there, 1.3 in that area of the state. San Jacinto fault zone has been fairly quiet. I noticed that last night, continuing into the day today, it looks like. A little bit of activity down south here around the El Centro area at the uh, northern tip of the imperial fault but uh, things just kind of uh, somewhat mellow here inland and um, into the sierra nevadas intermountain west region has remained uh, pretty quiet not a whole lot of activity kicking up here through the region still a little bit of swarming out here um, in the nevada desert 2.7 and a couple other smaller quakes there uh, somewhat random depths there between 2 and 10 kilometers north of Las Vegas. A couple fault systems out here all over the place. Looks like Immigrant Valley North Faults uh, into the Pacific Northwest. Relatively quiet. Still seeing a little bit of activity around Mount St. Helens with a zero recorded magnitude. Okay. And uh, all other volcanoes temporarily, or at least for now, look quiet. Yellowstone activity, um, not a whole lot to chat about there in that region. We'll go ahead and check that out. Just something we cover a lot here. Whether it's uh, active or not, there's 
Definitely not a whole lot going on. Looks like one little earthquake here around the northwest edge of the Yellowstone area. That's going to be this distinct earthquake right here. And uh, more than likely, one of these earthquakes, uh, very small microquakes showing up there on the uh, seismograph stations, but not a whole lot going on there in the Yellowstone area. Uh, one little, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> earthquake around the New Madrid zone. 1.8 at 10.7 kilometers. That uh, been pretty quiet here for the most part. Let's check out this last seven days or so. There's been a couple small, uh, yeah, not not much over the last seven days. This is the all magnitudes here. So even this area has been relatively quiet in terms of uh, the multitude of quakes that we've kind of been used to. Uh, but but again, then then again, it comes and goes, right, with the uh, shuffling of the plates and the pressure out there in the North American plate which doesn't seem to be all that extreme at the moment. Uh, South America region getting in on some activity with a 5.3 in the Chile area, 103.4 on the uh, kilometer scale. As far as the depth goes, also a 4.5 in the Bolivia area. Uh, movement around Colombia and Panama, some activity as well. Uh, swarming continues into the Puerto Rico trench area and Puerto Rico area although not quite as many. Of course, uh, if you recall, there's been quite a few uh, earthquakes there over the last week of all magnitudes and uh, kind of centralized here around this southwest edge of the Puerto Rico area. But uh, kind of calming down at the moment here. There's a little swarm of activity up here towards the Puerto Rico Trench. Uh, quite a few threes kicking off there uh, between 11 and 25 kilometers. Hawaii, what's going on out here in Hawaii? Kind of lighten up, right? All these earthquakes here within the last hour in the red. Some movement in the southeast flank in the area around Kilauea Volcano, which is still kind of just uh, subsiding a little bit. I don't think we've seen any further updates in that uh, in that volcano. We'll go ahead and check this out. Also, Mauna Loa is still showing some signs of uh, activity. But then again, in that region too, not uh, not a whole lot going on there. <clears throat> today anyway uh, Kilauea still remains at an orange and watch level with uh, Mauna Loa sitting at the yellow advisory level uh, Kilauea let's check out the update here which was put out yesterday the summit eruption uh, within the crater has continued with slight fluctuations in lava output over the past 24 hours uh, lava activity remains confined to the crater and there are no indications of the erupting or the eruption migrating elsewhere on Kilauea so a little bit of a uh, little bit of activity, and then it dies down. A little bit of activity, then it dies down. Seems to be typical there with the uh, Kilauea volcano, Mauna Loa update, which was put out uh, looks like a few days ago, uh, right around that area where we've seen the swarm of movement uh, in the earthquake area or in the uh, Mauna Loa area. Looks like they had uh, about 68 small earthquakes below the summit and upper level flanks. The majority of these earthquakes occurred at shallow depths, less than 10 kilometers, uh, less than 6 miles below sea level. A little bit of uh, deformation there in the GPS measurements. So still kind of watching the uh, Mauna Loa area for sure. Kilauea just all kind of just uh, comes and goes as it pleases when it uh, comes to the eruptive stages. Further movement along the Kermadec Trench, some deep activity as well with a 360 kilometer deep 4.8. And uh, one little shallow earthquake up here north of Fiji at uh, 10 kilometers of 5.0. Uh, Japan Trench remains quiet. Philippine Plate as well. One earthquake here at Taiwan with a 5.2. But uh, generally speaking, pretty quiet here in this area of the Pacific Ring of Fire. We did see some activity kick up here in the South Sandwich Islands with a 5.2 down there into the southern end of the South Sandwich Trench. All right, folks, I'm going to jump off here. Have a good day. Got a somewhat of a busy uh, schedule this week, but uh, we'll definitely be on here, off and on. Uh, also been getting uh, quite a few uh, spam bots here on the live stream, so I kind of upgraded the uh, chat feature. Um, when it comes to the uh, ability to chat on live chat, i uh, got to be a subscriber more than three days that kind of helps limit the amount of uh, bots that can be created out there and uh, interfere with chat here on the channel. So 
but most of the subscribers out here have been here for quite a while. But if you're a new subscriber, you'll be able to chat uh, after that uh, th uh, three day period. It just kind of helps to keep out the uh, spam bots that has been kind of, a, kind of a pain here on the channel recently. But we're getting a handle on it and uh, eventually they will uh, disappear. All right, folks, have a good day. Stay safe. And that's supposed to be up around uh, close to 80 degrees here over the next couple days. So here in California, I'm going to be uh, enjoying some of the sunshine, I guess. Peace out, folks.